All right, guys, what's going on? Welcome in. So breaking, breaking, breaking NFL news here. All right, Yannick Ngakwe, edge rusher, <clears throat> defensive end, has just been traded again to the Baltimore Ravens, right? From Minnesota to Baltimore for a third round pick and a fifth round pick. Now, it wasn't too long ago that the same player, Yannick Ngakwe, was traded from Jacksonville to Minnesota for a second round pick and a fifth round pick. So after hearing this trade, I'm sitting here wondering one question, right? My instant reaction to this trade or hearing about it, one question pops into my head and it's Minnesota. What is the vision for this franchise? Are you trying to rebuild? Are you trying to, are you like, are you trying to make a playoff push? Do you see yourself winning the division? Like every move this he makes, it tell like they're so like flip floppy. Like why would you extend Kirk Cousins? Why would you, you know, trade a second round pick for Unique Ngakwe. I mean, those are like, you know, playoff, like win now style of, of moves, right? You're not going to extend your quarterback that you haven't got the job, uh, the job done with if you're going to be tanking or rebuilding or thinking about the future. And then they have other moves like trading away Stefan Diggs and getting rid of all their cornerbacks. Um, and yeah, the cornerbacks did not play well last year, you know, uh, Trey Waynes, um, uh, Xavier Rhodes and whatnot. Um, you know, so those guys obviously had to be, you know, that position needed to be upgraded. And I love those corners, by the way, Dantzler and um, Gladney. I really like Dantzler coming out of Mississippi State. I thought he was pretty underrated. Uh, one of the guys who I wanted the Jets to get, honestly. But um, I digress. The point is, is that these moves that the Vikings are making, to me, it I just feel like it's telling. Like, what does Minnesota want to do? Like, you know, one day they're win now. One day they're, you know, building for the future. One day they're thinking about the playoffs. One day they're not thinking, you know, just maybe draft picks. I don't know. And I completely understand, you know, plans not going one, like uh, plans falling through. And I could, I get them thinking, okay, maybe we could have made a playoff push this year. And obviously we have not got the job done. So we're just going to blow this thing up. But it's like, you know, now, like it's too late. Like they gave up a second round pick for Unique and Gakwe and all they're getting back is a third. You know, so essentially it's like, you know, because two fifth round picks were involved, it's like you traded away a second round pick in exchange for six games of Unique Ngakwe and a third round pick. Like, you know, and the Vikings are sitting here right now, I think only winning one game on the year. Um, it's tough. It's tough. But I really, really like some of their young rookie guys that they brought in. Justin Jefferson is obviously a dominant beast you know, stepping into that wide receiver role, like no pro, like no problem, no problem at all. Just coming in and dominating. I think he's actually, you know, one of, if not the best wide receivers in the league, statistically speaking, as we stand today, going into week seven, but oh, man, it's like, and now, you know, Dalvin Cook's dealing with an injury. It's like, what, what's the direction of this Vikings team? That's what I want to know. That's what I'm curious about. It's like, are they trying to make a playoff push? Are they trying to rebuild? I don't understand. Like, I don't, I just don't know. It's so unclear. It's so foggy. It's so hazy, to be honest with you. But now when you look at Baltimore's side of it, you know, they're getting a guy who's, oh, real quick, one more point I wanted to, to add on there. If the Vikings do in fact want to, you know, say rebuild, or I don't want to say tank, but um, if they want to rebuild, and they're not really thinking about the playoffs this year and they're thinking about like dishing out some of their players like Adam Thielen and you know a couple of a couple of guys that you know they could value some really really nice uh draft capital in return Yannick Ngakwe is still 24 25 years old like this is a guy who's young enough to keep around for the rebuild right he's not some 33 year old veteran that in two years when the vikings are thinking about or three years realistically competing for the nfc north crown you know he's not gonna be washed up he's not gonna be you know this scrub he's still young enough he, i mean yeah he's been a pro bowler and whatnot <clears throat> but this guy is still young enough to where he can still get better, right? He's not really even in the prime of his career yet. So it's odd to me that the Vikings, and maybe it was a scheme thing. Maybe it was like an argument with a coach type of thing. I don't really know, but it's like, uh, I just don't know what's going on with this Viking squad. I just really, really don't. But as far as Baltimore goes, Baltimore is going to get a pass rusher who is inconsistent at times, but he's young. He has crazy upside. He has crazy speed coming off the line. I think Baltimore, a team that's known for defensive football, um, 
you know, they're going to get the best out of them, obviously. M maybe not this year, but eventually. Like, I think Baltimore, for them to give up a third and a fifth round pick, I think he's going to be in the plans for the Ravens defense moving forward for years to come. Because um, I believe Unique Ngakwe signed, like, a huge, huge contract when he first arrived in Minnesota. So, really, really strange move. Was not really expecting a trade of this caliber with this player this early. Um and again, I don't know if it's maybe Unique quit on the Vikings. Maybe the Vikings quit on him. I don't know. I don't know what's going on here. But that's the news. Unique Ngakwe is now a Baltimore Raven. And a third-round pick and a fifth-round pick is headed back to Minnesota. So I'll leave it there. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. And as always, thanks so much for watching. And go Jets.